Hello my fellow misfortunates and welcome to today's upload. I really hope this video actually gets to you today because I'm, I've been so busy, it's uh, incredible. I just now got the opportunity to record and ranked queues down on top of everything. So, oh goodness, I, sh I sh still should play better. So this is a normal game, but um, nonetheless we are tryharding as always. Uh, so much health there. What was Blitzcrank even doing? Um, the thing is, I want to experiment more with rune pages because, well, while press the attack is definitely good, that doesn't mean it's the best. Uh, and you can only really figure that out by testing stuff. So we are testing the Nimbus Cloak Celerity combination, which is quite popular for. Uh, many AD carries. On Misfortune though, I think she lacks raw attack damage if you go for Precision and then Celerity. <laughs> this Blitz is literally doing nothing, is he? And then Celerity and Nimbus looks secondary. So we go into the Sorcery Tree right away with Summon Eerie, who, uh, which gives us an extra laugh tap, essentially. Makes it way more rewarding to poke in the lane, obviously in all in situations like that. Alright, that almost worked out. Yeah, in all in situations, press the attacks always better, also coup de grass. But if you just go for a hit and run playstyle, which is mis one of Misfortune's strengths, right? You get essentially uh, the bonus. You get the bonus damage every time you go for a laugh tap, essentially, because you space out your trades as Misfortune. As Misfortune's damage is front loaded. So, and also Celerity plus um, Nimbus Cloak makes you incredibly fast, and it also works with your W, so I can definitely see this being a thing. Maybe even with press the attack and no attack damage rune. Zack top lane? Okay, but it's, it's definitely uh, worth experimenting with. And uh, Blitzcrank is uh, leaving me alone, isn't he? Why is he so passive? I don't understand. He might be auto-filled. Who knows? Sure. We're slightly behind in CS. Oh, this current leaving me again as they walk up to me. That's not good. If you have a support like this, you just need to play accordingly. There's no point in taking too much free damage, right? Or taking any free damage, to be exact. You just need to keep your distance. And Zack might be around, too. Need to keep that in the back of our heads. Yeah, I'm just getting poked for free. Well, now he gets minion aggro, which is nice. I might just base, to be honest. The wave's so pushing towards me, Blitzcrank's not doing anything. And I have a pickaxe that I can buy. So not too, too shabby. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, I'm down. I mean, I can't stand there with low HP anyway. Especially not one versus two. Just need to relax here. Uh, by the way, how do you like the analysis text box, actually? Do you think... It's, is it helpful to the point where I should use it in... Or what I sh when I should uh, include it in every single video? Or uh, are you mostly ignoring it? Don't you... Or are you not reading it? I'm not sure how, um, how much you like it. So definitely let me know. I want to improve my content as much as possible so you can learn as much as possible and or get as much entertainment as possible from it. So yeah, if you give me feedback on that, then I can react accordingly. Well, and miss. I 
That's definitely a way if I want to crash. So yeah, for, for today's video, obviously we're not having an analysis text box. Firstly, it's a normal game because ranked Q is disabled right now. And secondly, I'm so short of time. It's like 6 p.m. already and my upload should go live on my on, when it's on schedule in three hours. And that's a very narrow time frame to edit and stuff. Yeah, it's a bit strange that really not doing anything in lane. We could be pressuring Kaiser right now. If he just walked up a little, but I guess that's too much to ask for. Okay. So he goes roaming, that's definitely better, because then he probably gets more impact. Bard is coming back. Magical Journey is on cooldown though. Okay, he's not coming back. He's... What are they doing? Should I join? I don't think so. I think I should just pressure Kaisa. That's fine. Also, the extra movement speed from Celerity means it's easier to dictate the pace of the lane phase, because you can walk up if you want to, and they cannot get away in time because you outspeed them. one4 k so I'm almost at Man Immune, which is important. Zack is definitely in the area. Need to be careful. Got it. Definitely worth. I just want a base here. That's all. Yeah, they can try to hold it, but minions do damage. Don't sleep on that. Okay, quite the perfect base. Get some stacks. And get running. So this already did 150 damage, which is fine. Again, this is poke damage. This is love tap damage. Press the attack is... Um, it's definitely more meaningful in all in fights. Don't sleep on that. But Gathering Storm is definitely way better than Coup de Grasse. At all, uh, well, not at all stages of the game, but post 10 minutes. And Eerie is quite strong on the lane phase because poke damage matters a lot here, especially for Misfortune. And that in combination with the fact that you can dictate or at least um, have better influence on when you trade because of the extra movement speed here plus your W. Yeah, this is like this is essentially mitigating the W nerf now. And since it's a percentage of your movement speed bonus, it uh, means it gets even more ridiculous when you need it the most, aka when you proc Nimbus Cloak. Come on, Bitscrank, you can do better than that. Especially Vayne players are going for this. I've seen the Nimbus Cloak plus Celerity. There's also the, the synergy for Vayne with her passive. Don't forget that. Why is this Blitzcrank so atrocious? <laughs> I wonder. Oh well. It's a normal game after all. Again, I normally only play ranked games, but when ranked is down and I don't have a video at the ready for today, the only alternative is not uploading at all.
That goes probably too far away, isn't he? It's Kaiser's Flash. Now we push this. So in this game, because we're against Zack and Darius, I definitely need Blade of the Ruined King and Healing Reduction. Speaking of Zack, huh? Yeah. I better leave. <laughs> Actually, now the Blitzcrank's here and Kai'Sa is basing, we can push this wave. Let's be greedy. Alright, lifesteal also slowly but surely starting to kick in. 350 damage, that's decent. It's more than Ari did with her electrocute. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not a, a diverse against a vampiric scepter. Or averse? What's the English word? In Latin it's advertere. Or advertere. With the correct pronunciation, but ad ad I think it's aversion in English, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. What you doing? Celerity. Just give her an extra love tap. That's what I'm all about. Yeah, I don't care about Kana Minion, I care about damage. Now that we forced Kai'Sa out of lane again, we can uh, extend our minion advantage by fast pushing the wave under the enemy tower. A lot of plating towers are so squishy. You can just take it right now, I reckon. Nice. First tower is ours. Right, let's go. Let's roam. We pushed the wave past the river, or did we? I'm not sure. Maybe it connects in the middle. Yeah, pretty much. But uh, it's still a good place to roam. Come on, Kaisa. We be cruising. Yeah, there's no way I catch her. But if she's greedy and pushes the wave, then maybe. Oh, I gotcha. Never be greedy, guys. Greed always kills you. Always. Be grateful for what you have. Don't be greedy. <laughs> the life advice. Yeah, dragon. And... Uh, okay, I'm still quite far away from Death's Dance. Now that I look at it. Five hundred fifty damage so far. Oh, well, now it's uh, eerie damage is very linear, but press the attack can skyrocket in the mid to late game. So there's definitely a trade off here. But more safety. I love safety. I love that stance, and therefore I also love the combination of celerity and Nimbus cloak. Doesn't seem like we can do much to Ari here. She's keeping a good distance. I need 500 more gold though. And I want my gold. 
sure. I can definitely catch her. If I really want to with heal. Don't think it's worth my heal though. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not worth my heal. It's too risky because I'm overextending and I'm definitely losing a summoner. Which is not in my best interest. Okay, I got the gold for my item now. But since they're forced back, we can still stay and take stuff. Oh, that was a... Uh... What? <laughs> Why? How did he walk into that? Okay, I mean, some players just don't pay attention, I suppose. Okay, we grab this. Double dagger, I'm down. Or actually, I think one long sword plus a control ward is better than double dagger. Especially considering this is not transformed yet. Had we transformed this to mirror mana already, then double dagger would be a nice boost for the on-hit component. But as it stands, I guess this is the better purchase. Now that I think about it, even the Latin word is avertere, not advertere. They're exact opposites, to be precise. Because a means away from something, and ad means in something's direction or someone's direction. So a vertere is to turn away, to deny, and ad vertere is to face. And I'm not even sure if it's actually a classical Latin word. I will dive this. Latin is an interesting language, isn't it? An enemy has been slain. Where do we put that control word, though? Baron Pit? Okay, so there's in fact both avertere, which means to turn away, to deny, to dismiss, to keep away. And there's also advertere, which means to face, to, um, to drag attention towards, and the likes. Yeah, so and I did most damage in the game. Yeah, bye. <laughs> a big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.